Good morning and welcome to Lester Percussion Studio. My name's Dennis and today we're going to talk about how to put sandpaper on a tambourine for good friction rolls like thumb rolls and finger rolls. So here we have a couple examples and this tambourine here has no sandpaper. So when I try to do a thumb roll, I get nothing. Finger roll, nothing. Oh, great, there I got one, but it's very sketchy. If I use one of these others that has tan uh, sand sandpaper on it, never fails. So what kind of sandpaper is it? It's black. I think they use it for automotive painting. It looks like this. The grit, now that's how, how uh, coarse the sand on it is. Grit of this ch one I chose is 320. Doesn't have to be exactly 320. Can be a little, little lower number than that, little higher number than that, but that's a good number to start with. 320 grit. And on this one, I even tried to label it so I could tell it's 320 grit right here. I put a Sharpie on there and to check it. So um, this is a Grover Phosphor Bronze. You just heard that. Once upon a time before Grover and Black Swamp all existed, Ludwig used to make some nice tambourines and this one's silver. Be careful though, um, don't make your, your um, band of sandpaper too narrow. I think uh, I just replaced one of these a little while ago. That's why this one's extra wide. If you're watching your music, reading, and you miss, you can mess up a part. Okay, so here's how I did that. Like I showed you the sandpaper. So I, right now I'm going to use a, a sheet of white paper just as an example of, of the steps I went through to make this. First thing I would do is set the tambourine on the paper, get a pencil and trace around the tambourine. So I got a circle now then I get a scissors and cut the paper maybe a little to the inside of the pencil mark. That way you won't have sandpaper hanging out over the edge of your tambourine. So make it just a hair smaller. So now, got that, and put the paper on the tambourine, get my pencil again, and decide how, how thick I want the sandpaper to be on the tambourine, and just kind of guess at where I want it to go, and then cut that out. I'm, I'm hurrying just so this video doesn't go too long and I'm not really good at editing yet. Yeah, this is awful. So now, get rid of that. So now I've got my sandpaper to fit my tambourine and how am I gonna stick it on? I used contact cement. And what you do is, oh, I think I also had to do this. Take my pencil and kind of draw on the tambourine head where my sandpaper fits. Then you take contact cement and you butter it on both surfaces, the, the tambourine head and the inside of your sandpaper, and then line it up good. You might want to start in the center and then ease it down because when contact cement 
touches the other one they stick and there's no adjusting you got to be pretty accurate when it goes down and then put something heavy on it and let it dry for a while and you're good to go so that's how I did both of these and so uh, I would recommend that you do that sandpaper never fails every time good friction rolls so take care uh, please uh, consider liking and subscribing Lester Percussion Studio DIY tips from old drummers and I'll have some more videos coming up thanks a lot bye